You can see it, flu season is here. Big words right here. And we're seeing a start of the increase now. Hospital emergency departments are busier than ever. Clinics are popping up with the people trying to get their flu shot. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs joins us right now from a clinic at the University of Maryland, Baltimore. Abby. According to the State Department of Health, only 4% of Marylanders have gotten their flu vaccine so far this year. Clinics like this one are trying to increase that number to protect people. While flu activity in Maryland is still low, it's starting to increase. And there are more cases now than this time last year. As a lot of people are coming back to work, coming back to school, we're certainly getting more exposure to each other. Following last year's very mild season, there's worry this year will be different, and doctors fear a twindemic. We've already started to see increased cases with it, um, you know, in all types of environments, in workplaces, in schools, so it's just a good reminder to make sure you protect yourself. Today, the University of Maryland School of Pharmacy hosted a flu shot clinic on campus in partnership with Walgreens to help get the community vaccinated. It's just a simple, easy thing that you can do, especially with COVID going around. I think that it's something really effective that we can do to protect ourselves. Associate Dean Cherokee Lason Wolf says the vaccine is not only to protect yourself and the community, but to decrease stress on an already overwhelmed healthcare system. We want to make sure that we try to keep in mind what healthcare resources that we may have, you know, the, um, you know, keeping ourselves well enough to be out of the hospital, out of the emergency department, and the flu vaccine can certainly help with that. It does kind of help reduce the incidence of disease. It helps reduce hospitalizations and severe illness. The flu vaccine is also available at local health departments, doctor's offices, and pharmacies. In Baltimore, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News.